Certainly. Below is a further expanded version of the previous content with even greater elaboration and detail for each section. The Voyager spacecraft are some of the most iconic and remarkable achievements in the history of space exploration. When NASA first launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 in 1977, the missions were meant to last a mere four years. Their goal was to explore the outer planets of our solar system Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What was once thought to be a simple planetary flyby has turned into an astonishingly successful, ongoing mission that has lasted more than 45 years. The fact that these spacecraft, both still operational after so many decades, remain the most distant human-made objects in space is a remarkable achievement in itself. Voyager 1, in particular, is the farthest human-made object from Earth, and it is currently traveling through the vastness of interstellar space. This is a feat no one could have predicted in 1977. The Voyager spacecraft have continued to redefine what it means to explore the unknown and to extend the frontiers of our scientific knowledge in ways that were previously unimaginable. The length and success of the mission are a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of the scientists, engineers and visionaries at NASA who designed it. The journey of the Voyager spacecraft started with a groundbreaking discovery by Gary Flandro, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL. In the 1960s, while conducting trajectory analysis for NASA, Flandro stumbled upon an astonishing alignment of the outer planets that would occur in the late 1970s. This rare alignment where Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would all fall into a unique configuration was the key to making a fast, energy-efficient voyage to the outer solar system. Flandro realized that this alignment offered a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a spacecraft to use gravitational assists from each planet to accelerate and change its trajectory, allowing it to reach distant destinations in the solar system much faster than previously thought possible. His discovery led to the creation of a plan that would allow NASA to send a spacecraft to each of the outer planets, dramatically cutting down the time it would take to explore them. By using the gravitational pull of these planets, a spacecraft could gain speed like a stone being flung by a slingshot. The amazing insight was that such a journey would reduce the travel time from Earth to Neptune a typical trip that would take 30 years to just 12 years. The alignment, however, was extremely rare, occurring only once every 176 years, making this the perfect moment for NASA to seize the opportunity and launch a mission. Flandro's calculations, made with basic tools like pencils, paper, and a slide rule, were instrumental in setting the stage for what would become one of humanity's most extraordinary space missions. In the summer of 1977, NASA launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 16 days apart, to take advantage of this rare planetary alignment. While the mission was initially designed to last just four years, exploring Jupiter and Saturn, it would soon become clear that these spacecraft were capable of achieving much more. The initial goals were straightforward fly by the giant planets of Jupiter and Saturn, take close-up images of their moons, and study their magnetic fields, atmospheres, and other characteristics. However, the data they collected during their planetary encounters exceeded all expectations and opened new doors for science. The spacecraft revealed surprising and unexpected details about these distant worlds, including Jupiter's raging Great Red Spot, the presence of volcanic activity on Io, a moon of Jupiter, and the discovery of Saturn's magnificent rings with their intricate structure and complex dynamics. These groundbreaking discoveries forced scientists to revise their understanding of how planets and moons form and behave. Even more remarkable, Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune worlds that had never been visited before, giving humanity its first and only close-up views of these enigmatic planets. The Voyager missions were not only technological marvels but also triumphs of engineering, designed with the most sophisticated tools of the time. These spacecraft were outfitted with 10 scientific instruments to study planetary atmospheres, magnetic fields, radiation, and more. What was remarkable was the fact that these instruments operated on technology that would now be considered obsolete by today's standards. The onboard computers, for instance, had just 69 kilobytes of memory far less than the memory in even the simplest smartphones today. Yet these machines had to function autonomously, managing complex scientific operations, navigating through the dangerous asteroid belt, and transmitting data back to Earth. This was done with a transmitter that used a mere 23 watts of power, less than the power used by an ordinary light bulb. To put this in perspective, Voyager's communication system had to beam signals across billions of miles, 
traveling through the vast emptiness of space. The spacecraft's high-gain antenna, a 12-foot wide dish, was key to enabling these long-distance transmissions. Even with these limited resources, the spacecraft were able to collect and transmit an incredible wealth of data. This achievement exemplifies human ingenuity and the power of efficient engineering, pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible. Despite the technological constraints, the Voyager spacecraft were designed to be resilient, navigating the harsh environments of deep space and sending back valuable data. Voyager 1's journey was especially challenging as it had to cross through the asteroid belt on its way to Jupiter, a task that had previously been attempted by earlier spacecraft, such as Pioneer 10 and 11. The risks involved in navigating this dangerous region were considerable, yet the spacecraft successfully passed through without incident. The true scale of the achievement becomes apparent when considering that Voyager 1 was the first spacecraft to leave the orbit of the solar system's largest planet, Jupiter, and venture beyond the known confines of the solar system. Similarly, Voyager 2's journey to the outermost planets Uranus and Neptune was groundbreaking. In 1986, Voyager 2 made history by becoming the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus, providing detailed data on the planet's unique characteristics, such as its magnetic field, which was tilted at an odd angle, and its faint rings. Three years later, it made another incredible achievement, becoming the only spacecraft to date to visit Neptune, revealing a dynamic world with supersonic winds and a mysterious dark spot, akin to Jupiter's great red spot, on Neptune's atmosphere. These discoveries expanded our understanding of the outer planets and proved that even in the cold, distant reaches of the solar system, there were unexpected complexities waiting to be explored. The Voyager spacecraft have now entered the realm of interstellar space, far beyond the influence of the Sun's magnetic field. This phase of their mission began when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary marking the end of the Sun's influence and the beginning of interstellar space. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, closely followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. This is a milestone of immense significance, as it means that these spacecraft have traveled far beyond the solar system and into the unknown vastness of the interstellar medium. The Voyager spacecraft are now exploring a new frontier, far from the protective influence of the sun's solar wind and magnetic field, and their data is providing scientists with valuable insights into this mysterious realm. The journey has also highlighted the immense challenges that come with communicating across such vast distances. Signals from Voyager 2, for instance, take more than 18 hours to reach Earth, and as the spacecraft moves farther away, the signals become weaker and more difficult to detect. Yet, despite these obstacles, the Voyager probes continue to send back data, defying all expectations. Their ability to function and operate autonomously, even as they drift into the interstellar void, is a remarkable testament to the durability of their design. The journey of the Voyager spacecraft is not only a scientific endeavor, but also a philosophical and cultural one. Each spacecraft carries a golden record, which serves as a time capsule designed to communicate the story of humanity to any intelligent beings that might encounter it in the distant future. The golden record contains sounds and images that represent the diversity of life on Earth, including greetings in 55 languages, a variety of musical selections, and photographs depicting our planet, people, and cultures. The inclusion of the Golden Record was not only a scientific decision but a deeply symbolic one, embodying the hope that one day, in the distant future, these spacecraft might serve as a bridge between humanity and extraterrestrial civilizations. The Golden Record, curated by a team led by renowned scientist Carl Sagan, represents humanity's desire to reach beyond our world, to communicate with the stars, and to leave a legacy that extends beyond our time. As the Voyager spacecraft continue their journey through interstellar space, their legacy continues to inspire awe and wonder. They are not just scientific instruments, they are symbols of humanity's quest for knowledge, understanding, and exploration. Their journey serves as a reminder that the universe is vast and filled with mystery.